so here is an another example of root locus so here the difference between this is uh, here is uh, no use of angle of departure because there is no imaginary pools also so and these two type of question mainly comes uh, one I have uploaded before and uh, this is one where there is no imaginary poles so the step one as same as before we have to find out the poles so here poles are 0 minus 2 and minus 4 and zeros there is no zeros so number of poles is 3 1 2 3 and the number of the zero is also 0 and now step 2 come to step 2 step 2 is find out the centroid so centroid here formula summation of poles minus summation of zeros divided by number of poles minus number of zeros so summation of poles is this here you can see no imaginary poles are there everything is real so if you calculate this you will find minus 2 is the centroid then you have to find out the angle of asymptotes so the same formula i have used and after that you can find out that uh, what is q q value can go from 0 to any number so q value will be up to so how much we will take the q value the q value will be p minus z minus 1 so here p minus z means 3 and 3 minus 1 means 2 so the q value will be 0 1 and 2 so for this 0 1 and 2 we have find out the angle of asymptotes here after that we will go through the step 4 on step 4 what will we do we will just point out the poles so we can see here that at e is equals to 0 there there is a pole on e is equals to 0 and there is a pole on maybe there is 1 there is 2 there is 3 and there is 4 so here is a pole at minus 2 and here is a pole at minus 4 okay so we have to find out the root locus here so from here we can see on the RHS side of this plane there is no poles or zero so there will be no root locus so we have to move on the next pole from the next pole you can see there is only one pole so that is a odd number of poles so there will be a root locus in between this and after that we will consider this pole from this pole you can see there is two number of poles there so this is the even number of poles pole pair okay so we cannot draw a root legus between this so we will go for the next poles or zeros so we consider that there is a zero or something pole here okay on the infinity from the infinite point if we look after this we can see there is three poles okay so from infinite to this there must be a root locus so here is two root locus one is for this and one is for this okay so we came to step 5 and at step 5 we have to find out the breakout point for that we need characteristics equation that is 1 plus gshs equals to 0 so 1 plus gshs and gs we are given here and hs is we need to fit back 1 so we just uh, have a write down the equations so we just multiplied this is a square plus 2s plus into s plus 4 so these are multiplied plus k divided by this thing this thing i have written so this thing will multiply with this and will become zero so this will be my characteristics equation mean characteristics equation so from here what we have to do we have to uh, side k one side and uh, another the total portion we will put another side like this then we will find out the dk ds so after dk ds derivative of this 3s square plus 12 is as you can see then we have to put dk ds equals to 0 so when we put dk ds equals to 0 from here we can solve the two roots of s so we can find their two roots are there so in between them uh, so we can see one is minus 0 0.845 and one is minus 3.15 why we are choosing this as the main root or the main breakaway point why because in our previous page we have seen that our root locus lies between 0 and minus 2 and after that infinite to minus 4 in between 2 and 4 there is there cannot be any breakaway point so 3.15 that is between 2 and 4 so this point cannot be really exist so this point can be exist because 
it is in between 0 and 2 okay so we will move to step 6 to step 6 we have to find out the imaginary axis crossover step 6 so we just write down the characteristics equation s q plus 6 s square that is this s q plus 6 s square it is plus k goes to 0 so we have formed the, our outer area like this you can check it so from here we have make this 0 and from there we get k goes to 24 then we made the auxiliary equation 6 s square plus k that is equals to 0 and there we put the value of k 24 and from there we have find out the roots of s so there is 2 root plus minus 2 i okay we will roughly make uh, step 7 we will make step 7 and we will roughly make a root locus like this so here is one pole here is one pole and here is one pole and uh, in there lies the root locus in there also lies the root locus and our centroid point is minus 2 that means this is our centroid point so from here we have three angular asymptotes that are this 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 so 60 180 and 300 degree are the angular asymptotes so from here we have drawn 60 degree this is 180 degree and uh, 180 degree so this will be 300 degree approximately from here so and this is 60 so uh, after that we have completed step 4 3 now we will go for step 5 from step 5 we have found out the breakaway point so our breakaway point was minus 0 0.845 so minus 0 0.845 approximately it will be here here 0 0.845 so from here we will just make this and this after that we will find out the imaginary crossover point that is uh, from step 6 imaginary crossover that will be is equals to plus minus 2i so if this is i and this is 2i this is i and this is 2i sorry this will be minus so this point will cut through this and that will cut through this and it will go along this angular asymptotes okay so this is the question and this is the answer and now you have to put it on just um, a graph you will be given 